So in this video I'm going to show you how to import a PDF document um, and then uh, set it up as a, uh, a planner in Zoom Notes. So I've done one already um, and I've put links in to navigate between the, the month page and the week pages. So that's the, what I'm doing there. Um, and I've set it up to show various events from my calendar. Um, and also um, uh, reminders um, from my re reminders app. So that's what we're aiming for. So the first thing, plus import iCloud. Now PDF could be anywhere. I've got this one in my iCloud, so um, I can import it from there. Import as documents fine uh, because it's not a digital planner yet. So that's where. We're so the starting point is a um, template page for a month and a template page for um, a week. And it's specifically for this October. So the first thing I like to do is add a um, layer, a new layer, and call it Planner. And I'm going to put all my Planner type um, items in that layer so it's current. And the other thing to check at this point also is uh, page properties and pages own, own layers off and set to all pay pages. And that means you've got one set of layers um, and they're common to all pages but you can put different things in for each page. Um, so the next thing to do is we're going to eventually want to see our events. So I'm going to turn on show events here. Nothing will happen yet, but it's ready for when we've set things up. So on this month page, we've got a table, essentially a seven by five table that we want to show our events in. So I'm going to go to the table tool. and I'm going to drag out a table over the once in the planner. Okay, and I'm going to set it to be the same dimension, so 7 by 5. And I think because it's um, a black background, with I'm going to change it to white lines as well. Um, and then you just want to um, adjust it so it's pretty much aligned with the PDF table. Okay, when you're happy with that, uh, then we can um, go to table settings on the style at the bottom calendar. And what that means is um, you want to use that table to display um, your events in. And the final step for this page to get the events in there is to go to page settings, is calendar page. It's a month. It's October 2020. Okay, that's this month. Um, and then refresh events. Now, I'll just zoom in here. Okay, events have appeared just in this marker mode, but they're too high up in each um, for each day. It's overlapping the um, the date numeral. So back into page settings, and we can just inset the top of it. I know it's six mil, that works, but you can just adjust that number as, as uh, you see fit. So that's this page done for events. Now I think we want a, a rectangle at the bottom to show the um, reminders in. So again, that's a polygon. I've put it down. I've gone to the bottom, turn on calendar and uh, said it's for reminders. I don't really want to fill um, the border, I might make it white. Um, now the font's black, so we want to go into document properties, event colour, we want that to be white or a light colour, um, but these as well, reminders, white. So there we go. So that's that. So 
that's the month. Some people just use a month and that's as far as they go. If that's what you do, then what you'll probably want to do is um, play with um, the uh, how to show events on a month page. So start off as markers. Um, list is, is probably a good one um, to choose where it just lists them out from the top of the area down chronologically. Um, another thing to check finally is in page settings, planner options, okay, and this Monday first, that's got to match the template. So in this case, Monday is coming in the first column, so we're all good. Um, So that's the month page done. Now we can go and look at a week page. Um, now, uh, we can't use a table for this because some of the days are, are bigger than others. So what we've got to do is um, use the um, polygon um, Don't need a fill, that's okay. And polygon, we just want to, for each day of the week, we add an area, and that is the area in which the um, events are going to be shown. I'm just taking time to um, get it over the actual area, because it just looks neater when you've done that. Um, Again, go into the, that polygon settings, style, scroll down. And turn on calendar, and it is for calendar events. Um, so with that one done, we can copy it and paste it into each um, day so that each day gets um, an area for events to be shown in. Carry on over here now. What I'm going to have to do here is also make it a bit bigger to cover the whole area. Okay, and now we can, for this page, we can go into its page uh, settings, turn on its calendar page, and that's a week page. And we're going to have to set the date correctly here for September 28. And as you can see, the events have appeared um, on the correct days. Um, Reminders, I'm going to put here, again, put a rectangle down, turn it on calendar, turn it on as reminders, there they are. Um, so, that's done the first week, now the other week's the same sort of process, so I'll just do one more. Um, pages manager, so that's one I've just done, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, done. Then I'm going to make move to that page, and then the duplication didn't set the date part. So I know it's a calendar page. It's a week, and I can see that I need to set the date, fifth of October. Okay, then the events have appeared. So it's as simple as that. Now. Um, I could do the other ones, but that it's the same process, so I'll leave that to uh, you just to do. Um, I'm going to show you how the links go in. So I'm going to do first is um, 
and I should have done this actually before duplicating the, the weak page. So I'm going to put a polygon over there. Now for links I'm happy without a border at all. So they're essentially invisible. Um, but I've gone to the link tab and then I'm going to say it's a page link, hit the arrow, back to October, OK. And I prefer direct rather than animated. Um, so now if I tap on October, it takes me back to the month. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is um, uh, show you how to do a week. So I'm just going to drag a polygon over these date numerals. And then it's the same process as I've just done. Border, I don't want one. Fill is off. Um, page link, and I want that to go to the correct week. OK, direct. That's it. So now I can tap on there, takes me to the week. Tap on here, takes me back again. Um, just say about the events. That it's showing if you tap on one then it allows you to configure it you can set alarms things like that you can even delete it if necessary um, and it's similar with um, reminders um, nice thing about reminders you can tap on one and say it's completed um, but just don't forget to um, say save and then it'll cross it off, um, give it, check it off. It remains there, I think, until you restart Zoom Notes. So if you decide, oh, I didn't complete that after all, you can go back and it uh, um, goes back to being unchecked. So um, that's it. I hope that's. Uh, Quite clear. Thank you.